Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Our American Dream. I did a test on this battery pack uh, about a week ago, and I got ready to post the video and I realized that I did not have an introduction for that video, so this is the introduction. We're gonna do a little test on this battery pack. We're gonna hook it up to my camper pod for a specific amount of time, and we're gonna see what the drawdown is on the battery and just do a little testing. So let's get right to it. So we're gonna kick this thing on, press and hold the power button. You'll see that I have it charged to 100%. And I'm just gonna take my plug and I'm gonna run it over here to the camper pod. Now, the setup that I have here is exactly the same as the cabin, and I did that on purpose. So, Monica, if you come to this side, you'll see I have a generator type receptacle right here, and all I do is take the end of an extension cord and plug that in, and that powers up my entire pod. So let's go turn the battery on. So if I come over here to the battery, you guys will see kind of nothing's happening right now until I hit AC output mode, and then some lights will come on, and you'll notice, uh, you probably didn't hear it click, but it clicked and it kind of starts estimating how much time is left to, to go on the battery. There's no load on it now, so let's go turn the light on and see what all this looks like. So the first quick and easy thing that we can do is kick on an exterior light. So obviously I have no doubt that this battery pack can run all of the lights that I have. So we're just gonna click a couple of these on and then we'll start turning some other stuff on. All right, so Again, the camper pod's parked in the shop and I store usually everything that we use for camping that we don't use otherwise. So pardon the mess in here, but we're just gonna continue going and putting some lights on. Let's put the one on in the rear and then let's check the load on the battery cell. Okay, so now I have an outside light and two inside lights on. Let's turn over right here and see what the load looks like. So as of right now, with just lights on, it's not even registering uh, a wattage output. I don't quite understand that. There should be, I would think, a couple watts here, but it is telling me around 45 hour lifespan. This battery, I think, operating just lighting for the camper pod will, will last a really long time. One thing that we frequently run while we're camping is our exhaust fan. So we're gonna turn this on. So now with the exhaust fan on, you can see on the screen that it's finally registering some wattage output, 45 watts. So this is with exhaust fan and three LED lights. 32 hour range. Next we're going to turn the refrigerator on and this will be the ultimate test to see if this thing can handle the refrigerator. Well, we're going to go ahead and turn this to from off to on. Nothing seemed to dim right there, that's a good sign. So the refrigerator kicked on. Let's check our load. So back over to the battery pack, I'm now seeing 112 watt load with a 15 hour lifespan at this load. So the rating of this thing is like 1800 watt hours, which means if I take the wattage times the hours, that should be about what that rating should be. So if I take 110, and I'm doing the math on the side here, times 15, I get 1,650, so that's slightly less than what the paperwork says, but pretty close, because it's I think it says 1,800 on there. So watt hours means how many hours you can run at specific number of watts. So you take your wattage multiplied by your hours, and that should be pretty close to that 1,800 number. So what does this mean for us? Um, this means that I could run this refrigerator pretty easily, I think, with this battery pack and I could run some lights in the exhaust fan. Obviously we wouldn't run all of these things all the time 
refrigerator would run intermittently as needed and then the fan probably only at night when we're sleeping and that's only if we want it and then obviously the lights just in the evening so I think it's probably worth a test to let this set right here just like it is we'll want roll run the refrigerator for a couple hours and let it come up to temperature, or I should say down to temperature. We'll leave the lights on and we'll leave the exhaust fan on and we'll see in how many hours it takes for this thing to, it's uh, 345 in the afternoon right now, we'll see how many hours it takes this thing to drop down. So right now it says 15 hour capacity. Let's come back in three hours and we'll see what this actually says. Okay, so it's been three hours. You guys can see behind me the clock. I guess I didn't show you the clock when I started, but trust me, it was 3.45. So 6.45, let's go take a look at our battery meter and see how it's doing. And let's see where we're at here. It says 92 watts, 14 hour life, 82% battery. So we went down 18% in three hours. And that's with the refrigerator running non-stop actually because it's still running right now. Now. I'm pausing briefly so that you can listen to this fan. So there's cooling fans on the inside of here. This is what I was alluding to earlier in this video. In AC mode, I think the inverter in here needs to stay cool and therefore that fan kicks on periodically so if this battery pack sitting outside your sleeping quarters i think that would be fine but yesterday when i was out in my cabin i had it inside with me and and it got a little annoying so let's take a look in the fridge you see a little bit of frost on my finger maybe i can assure you that it is frozen in there everything is working correctly so I think all other things being equal for camping purposes, I could probably get through a three day weekend with this battery pack without really needing to charge it much. So let's talk about this real quick. The, the purpose of me testing out this battery pack as well as my Honda generator was to try to determine what we want to take to Yellowstone National Park with us. Now, this test run that I'm doing on the camper pod, I'm using the refrigerator, and I'll tell you guys something, I will not be taking the refrigerator with us out there. So it's gonna be a road trip from Michigan to Yellowstone. That's gonna take us three days to get there, a lot of driving, three days to get back, a lot of driving. And while we're there, we don't intend on doing a lot of cooking Therefore, we don't intend on having a lot of refrigeratable stuff. So we're going to have a cooler and we're going to eliminate the refrigerator from our setup. So that being said, I, I think if we eliminated the refrigerator load from this, I could really go a long time just running lights in that fan. So thinking about that, just kind of processing this on video with you guys, that this might be a solution that would work very well for this trip in that this larger battery pack at, what I say it was, 1800 watt hours, I think it's rated for, um, will last a really, really long time on uh, one charge just running some lights. So once again, more testing to come on this setup. I would like to take this thing out in the field at some point and run it through its ringers a little bit more. But for now, I think that's gonna do it for this second test run of the EBL battery pack. Appreciate you guys staying with us. And if you have any questions, throw them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.